Bros and another forum chat. This week I've picked a comment off Facebook which asks if uh, V12Vs are more prone to triggering emissions check engine light and oil level warnings. I'd say V8, V12 derivatives, cars, models are no different than any other. It's the entire Spanish Oak ECU, the Ford ECU model range from 04 DB9, 05 V8, right up until V8 went out of production and 6 litre V12 turned into 5.2 twin turbo. So that whole production era. The problem in nine times out of 10 cases is the Lambda sensor is triggering a slow response code and the ECU puts the error light on because of this. Uh, legislation stipulates that the ECU will make a change to fueling that must be picked up, measured within a certain time frame by the lambda sensor in the exhaust system and then the signal returned back to the ECU. If it goes outside that uh, time span where the signal back to the ECU is, is over that threshold then it pings the check engine light, as simple as that. The, the lambda sensors age, there are several reasons. Uh, they age and then they slow down their signal response. Several reasons for that. They could be getting too hot, maybe that's in correct location where, where they were positioned by the factory, who knows. Uh, who knows if increasing contents of ethanol in the fuel changes combustion temperatures or poisons the sensor, who knows. But lots of times the emissions light is triggered for the lambda sensor reasons. So if you plug your fault code checker in and just a quick fault code read, you'll see P, a P code and P13 and then two numbers, 15 and two numbers and 17 and two numbers are gonna be lambda sensor faults. Most common reason for triggering the emissions warning light. Um, oil level, well, yeah, it, it's not the most reliable detection system out there. Use the dipstick, that's the best. Oil level uh, notification, I could have said the person that calibrated the oil level sensing was a dipstick, but that would be a bit harsh. Um, on DBS V12V, the hardware was in place, but it was turned off because they couldn't get it to work. Why someone can't get a simple sensor to detect oil level to work is beyond me. Uh, this would save a lot of problems when the V12 engine starts to consume its own oil because of breather circuit failure and then drops the oil level down to a, a level on the dipstick which uh, causes engine failure. You know, that, that's where that sensor should be really helping you out, but it can't do that. Uh, and yeah, it barely manages to measure oil level when the car's on level ground. Um, I just wouldn't rely on this sensor at all. I'd ignore it. And in, in your ownership experience, you know, maybe you drag the car out once a month on a Sunday, wash it, that sort of thing, just get into a routine of certainly less than a thousand road miles, maybe first Sunday every month, something like that. Check the oil level on flat level ground when it's cold and uh, use the dipstick instead of thinking that a little bit of electronic sensing is gonna take that burden away from you and you can forget about it.